at the Coca-Cola Dome with Miss Sarah Rushton Reed. And she's a photographer, which is really cool because I want to be a photographer. So what skills do you need if you want to be a photographer? Well, it depends what you're photographing. So I photograph live music and I also photograph people. So when I photograph people, I think you need people skills. You need to be able to make them feel really comfortable from right from the moment that you meet them. And then with live photography, obviously you can't use flash, so you have to be in charge of your camera. You have to know it inside out. You have to know how to work it to get the best shot. So it's slightly technical and it's slightly people. So, um, to be caught, to be, when you first, before you came, became a photographer, did you, like, um, go through any steps or, like, um, did you do any technical jobs before? Yeah, I was a lighting designer in the UK for many years in opera and ballet, and I was also a lighting technician. So I was deputy at Glyndebourne Opera. I worked at the Royal Opera House. Um, I toured with lots of big theatre companies and opera companies. I then became deputy editor to Lighting and Sound magazine, where I met lots and lots of different people. That's where I started to hone my photography skills. But because of my lighting design skills, I understood the technical side of photography to a degree. So if I wanted to become a photographer, I need to know a little something about technical stuff first? I think if you want to become a photographer, what you have to do is be passionate about what you're photographing. So landscape photographers are passionate about photographing landscapes and nature. I like people, live situations. It's the industry that I came from. So I have a great affection for it and a great passion for it. And that's the way that you do anything brilliantly, I think. You've got to love it. Okay. Um, so any tips? Um, about photography? Yes. I think you should get yourself a really cheap camera and then you should go and experiment and you should be prepared to sort of go into difficult situations, mucky situations, crazy situations with your camera and just keep taking pictures and then start to notice which ones you like, what you like taking pictures of and how you actually frame those shots and then also look at um, famous photographers work. Yeah, so what about framing? And what is framing? Well, framing your shot. I mean, these days with digital cameras, um, you know, framing your shot is important. You need to get the best picture you possibly can from the beginning. However, you can cut <laughs> and reframe your shot many different times if you want to inside the computer. But I always say, you know, you need to know the shot that you're going to take before you take it. You need to know what you want from your photo shoot, especially if you've got a time restriction. Um, so... Um, talked about lighting, so... Mm -hmm. Yes. What's some basic thing to know about lighting? Well, <laughs> yeah. Maybe just one or two tips. Okay. Yeah, some tips about lighting. Lighting. Well, it depends what you're lighting, of course. If you're lighting a play, are you lighting it naturalistically? Are you lighting it in some kind of surreal way? If you're lighting a band, what's their music like? You know, you start with your subject first and the environment that they're operating in, and then you create your lighting around that. The lighting equipment itself are simply tools, um, and it's a bit like a paint palette. So. Again, it's get to know your equipment, know it, and make it part of yourself. Um, so, any more things you want to add? Like, yeah, school skill. Well, you know, I think the great thing about the creative industries is that actually um, the kind of education that you get isn't, doesn't necessarily have to be formal. You don't necessarily have to have amazing skills, but you do need to understand the basics of mathematics, you need to be a good communicator, um, you need to have a broad spectrum of education so that you could talk to people easily and get to know them. So you need to be able to talk about lots of different things, I would say. But I think being a good communicator is one of the most essential things in the entertainment and media technology world. Well, that was Sarah. 
uh, Braxton Reed. <laughs> and go, go, media girl. Go, go, media girl. <laughs>